All right, now we'll come up for there. We go to I inside the Daily Independent newspaper. I see the Daily Independent newspaper there. Uh, there may be no general elections in 2023. Who they come and talk to now? PDP they talk him. Uh, they write, write UN, as United Nations, others over the role of military in the polls. We don't talk down before. They filed petition at uh, election tribunal today and asked EFCC to release uh, Tanimu uh, to, to Raki immediately. Um, 2023 is still fast more, at least for our eye. Let's say it's still fast, still another four years from now. PDP, they come out, they, they feel no be election. Of course, they're not the show, say, uh, they think they vex them. And today, they won't file their, uh, their case for election election tribunal. Now, according by one lawyer who been guest in the house the other day, uh, in talk, say, the election, the election tribunal say you must lay your petition 180 days, between 180 days after the election. After that, if you don't get any case, nothing will happen again. Uh, the person will win the election. Carry go now. Imagine I want to ask you the PDP now submit their case in front of the election tri tribunal. Now, you feel say uh, the way our, our, our whole justice system they go 180 days good day enough for them to, to, to solve this matter if at all. Any matter, they uh, the reason they, why they reduce that particular the reason why they put out for time frame now so that who win election they go feel concentrate on the work when we say they do or so that they will get situation where we say distractions no good day for inside the government. You know, sometimes I don't talk, say, Nigeria, they divided into two. You get the ruling class and you get the suffering masses or the political class. Now, for these people, uh, they, they settle their own matter quick, quick. You don't get 180 days. In 180 days, make we don't settle this matter sharp, sharp, make life go on. But for the case of poor man, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, the matter still they drag, they go. For that one, now on that issue. Mm. Uh, Alaji Atikwabaka and the People's Democratic Party, they get right to go court to seek redress. And the reason why people they go court now so that uh, the judiciary, when people they say now be the last hope of the common man, mm -hmm. uh, go look matter critically, can't give you justice. Irrespective of how the thing take turn out, you go tell yourself, say, okay, I go court and see what in court don't talk. Even our current president, President Mohamed mm -hmm. Wari, you know, 2003, 2007, 2011, when he lose, he been go court and court self look the matter, even though he know he pursue the cases, then go reach Supreme Court, the highest court for the land. So all of these now for us to test our laws and also strengthen our democracy to make our look say, okay, uh, uh, you know, we don't learn one or two things. But talking about the one way PDP, then they come out now, they do not try, they must. Mm. Say general election, you know, they for 2023, <laughs> uh, then get their reasons. And some of the reasons now say, the way when we say well, they do election, it just be like say, uh, we never learn from our mistakes. And we know, we know they're willing to move forward, but not be in the place of the PDP to tell us whether election go hold or, not. or the thing no go hold, mm -hmm. PDP not be God. Uh, they get right today, dissatisfied with how the 2019 elections they go, and like we don't talk, right they to seek redress for inside court. But then again, you know, there's no smoke without fire. Mm -hmm. This thing when the People's Democratic Party don't talk, uh, if you look at from the angle of say, not be say election no go hold at all, though, but maybe credible or free and fair elections. We don't talk and say, the government when they for power, Suppose we use the instrument of the law to, to, to make things they very, very cajard, to make things they work, so that people go get confidence and say they won't come out, won't vote for election. Imagine, say, for 2019, so for, sorry, for 2015, we will get, you know, around 69,000 people for our voters register. For 2019, we get 84,000 people and 15,000 people register to vote for the first time. Mm. So from these people go look what they have for election, their confidence go drop. And by the time when 2023 reached, they will look say, after all, now the same thing they have. We'll just, you know, carry on with our life. If we talk, say, we return to democratic rule for, for 1999, I will not get 20 years of uninterrupted democratic rule. And since 1999, we don't get elections back to back. When they even enthrone the major opposition party as against the sitting government, it go good, make we begin to learn. Mm. Make we begin to apply things when we say, go do and make, make election for 2023. It's in the make sense. It's in the make sense. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.